Fifteen rockets and an anti-tank missile were fired Tuesday from South Lebanon at northern Israel, raising fears that the pro-Iranian Hezbollah could join the fighting. That would force Israel to fight simultaneously on two fronts, but Israeli officials say that they are prepared. They also recommended that civilians leave the area. The death toll in Israel has climbed to more than 900, including hundreds of young civilians, as Hamas continues to hold some 130 hostages, including several dual Israeli-American citizens. Fourteen American citizens were among the 900 Israelis who have been killed so far. Israel said it killed two senior Hamas officials as fighting between Israel and Hamas continued for a fourth day, and more than 800 Palestinians have been killed in continuous airstrikes on Gaza. The death toll continued to climb as Israel continued heavy bombardments of Gaza. More than 300,000 Palestinians moved to U.N. schools after the Israeli army warned them to leave their homes. Whole streets in Gaza were leveled amid chaos. We had fled from Asaban, escaping from death. There were continuous airstrikes over our heads. They told us to come to Han Yunis. We came to find death. If we stay in our houses, we die. If we go on the streets, we die. Oh, my beloved brother, he fled from one place to another. Oh, my beloved brother, may your soul rest in peace. Israel's defense minister said that Israel is moving to what he called a full offensive against Gaza and vowed to liquidate Hamas. Israel has cut off water and electricity, and health officials in Gaza warn of an impending humanitarian crisis. Israel has called up more than 300,000 reservists and seems to be preparing for a ground invasion, said former military intelligence official Yossi Kuperwasser. We mobilized a lot of forces for that purpose, and they're all in the stages of uh, getting prepared for uh, reaching the level necessary for doing that. Whether it's going to happen and when it's going to happen, I don't know myself, and nobody knows, uh, as a matter of fact, I would say. Uh, but it's uh, highly important that everybody knows that uh, they are ready. Cooper Wasser believes that Iran is behind the Hamas incursion into Israel. So far, Israel has killed 1,500 Hamas gunmen who infiltrated into Israel on Saturday. The Iranian-led camp decided to uh, operate against Israel. Uh, why? It's a big question. Uh, I think... What I my my assessment is that it's a combination of many things. First and foremost, it is the feeling that uh, Iran and its uh, proxies do not face any real uh, opposition in the way to get and become the strongest uh, element in the Middle East. Israeli officials say they expect the fighting to continue for at least several weeks. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Jerusalem.